Mm-hmm. Pat love with Pat's uh, two cents. And, uh, <coughs> you mentioned that you're having problems after leading up your church. Yes. And uh, one thing that might be helpful is trying to find a church that does something a little different. Uh, that's what I did. I went to a church that specializes in, in healing ministry, so mm-hmm. to heal people. Uh, etc. And there you go. I, found, I found that there were, it's a very, very small church in Los Angeles, but it's very small, and there's only maybe 15 people in this church. But I'll tell you, yeah. half of them have had visions, the other half are, are going about healing people continually. So if, if you're getting more and more into the times we're in right now, uh, something like that, you can actually participate and start helping people. And when you are able to heal someone, they really listen to you a lot better than you, you know, just ministering to them. Mm-hmm. Um, that, that's one way that you can maybe tweak things a little if, if you need to tweak them. Right, right. Let me say something about what Lynn said, you guys. Lynn, uh, we talked about two or three months ago, and we were talking about the congestive heart failure that I was uh, diagnosed with. And um, I had told her about how I spent 12 days in ICU and was back in the hospital four times after that. Well, what ended up happening, he told me, after she prayed for me, he told me, take communion every day for the next 30 days. And I did. I did just that. Even if I missed a day and got in slightly to the next day, I took it and then took the other one for that day. I just kept it going. Now. Uh, A month and a half ago, the doctor diagnosed me as no longer having congestive heart Mm failure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So great. That's a testimony. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I never would have thought to take communion 30 days in a row. Well, that's where where my pastor uh, at at the church I go to, the healing church, he said that his father had cancer. And uh, he had heard somewhere to have the communion each day, so he would call up his father, and both of them would have communion on on the phone. And you know, um, after 30 days, his father no longer had cancer. So you know, now y'all need to hear that. If you guys have any ailments or any any suspicions of an ailment, start now. Take communion every day for 30 days. 